lubricant BS and other such nonsense. Let's talk a little bit about lubricant BS. Lubricant is life for machines. Make no mistake, a firearm is a machine and if you rely on one to protect life and liberty, you should be maintaining it with purpose. Keep it wet. You wouldn't ever think to run your lawnmower for 10 years without changing the oil and filter, let alone run your vehicle for months on end or thousands of miles without swapping the oil and filter. Keep it wet. Let's talk about that. Who's ever heard too much lube attracts dust? Check out this concept. A little lube or enough lube creates a situation where dirt and debris can and will stick to the surface if exposed to it. The better question is who really cares? Think about this. If I have two surfaces, one of them here and one of them here, and on this surface I have one molecule thick of oil, just one molecule. We're talking a billionth of a meter thick, tiny. Over here, I've got six inches, eight inches of lube exposed to a dusty environment. When you think about it though, the only part that's really exposed to the environment is that outside edge, just like the surface of a pond, right? The water that's eight feet deep is not exposed to the atmosphere. That's why when a leaf falls on a pond, it doesn't fall eight feet under, it falls on the surface of the pond, right? Either way, dust and debris are gonna stick. Who cares, we have a plan for that. Hey, are you deployed to the desert or to some other environment where it's hot, dry, dusty, dirty? Maybe so. But if you're not, we'll get to that. If you are operationally active in some area where dust and debris are a big issue and a big concern, you should and probably are maintaining your weapon to support your mission, meaning daily maintenance or whatever it requires to keep that gun up and working and lubed. For most people though, the range, and this even includes soldiers, definitely cops, the range is the hardest workout your gun is ever going to get. Lube is life to the machine. And starving a machine of lubricant, clean, fresh lubricant, is just plain silly. Stop that. What's lube do? You know, the whole concept of lubrication is a huge industry. There are fields of study dedicated just to lubricating machines. In fact, people become engineers just in that field. From manufacturing to pharmaceuticals to heavy machinery, there are specialty ways, items, techniques, chemicals, procedures, and the like that are used to properly maintain equipment. Keeps them running, extends life, makes everything work, keeps production happening. So too does this work with your guns. We're dealing with boundary lubrication in a firearm. We'll get to some other types here in a minute, but in boundary lubrication, the rolling and sliding bodies are separated by a few layers of molecules and the film varies in thickness from one to just a few tens of nanometers. By the way, a nanometer, that's one billionth of a meter. That's so thin. That's a billionth, not, not, not a millionth, not a thousandth of a meter, a freaking billionth. That is super thin. Boundary lubrication means that we are literally creating a boundary between two metal surfaces. The lube has to be there for it to exist. It's not just gonna magically get there, so you need to put it there. Here's a, a comparison that comes up often, right? The lube is good enough, i.e. XYZ, top of the line synthetic engine oil. It's good enough for a race car, as such it's good enough for my gun. Well, here's why that's a dumb way to compare things. Your engine, or any engine, has an oil filter. It has an oil pump, right? It has a cooling system to cool the oil down. That, that engine is moving cooled and cleaned oil, filtered oil, through the system and washing it across all of the moving parts that need it. There are ports that that oil is pumped through. That's why if your oil pump goes bad, your engine blows up. Right, We don't just leave that oil in the engine, but from time to time we periodically go to a service center, we have it drained out, we have a new filter put in, we put in fresh, clean oil. Will that oil lube a gun? Sure. It's not the right oil for a gun though. Just like gunfighter oil is not gonna be good to be dumped in your engine. Oh, well if it can handle the high intense heat of an engine, that's stupid. 
Why don't you put olive oil on your gun? Because that's not what it's for. Would it create a, lubri a, a lubricant? Yes, of course, for a while. Engine oil has anti-foaming agents and other such uh, uh, additives to make it work well for an engine. It's not the same for a firearm. The last I checked, Beretta and Langdon are not putting an oil pump or an oil filter on their guns. I bet you don't have an oil filter or an oil pump on any of your guns. You're relying on the boundary lubrication to keep the tool lubed. Think about that. Boundary lubrication, nothing more than a film between the parts. Lube is life. Why is lube life? By reducing friction and lubricating the gun property, properly, pardon me, we extend the life of the weapon. We increase functionality. By that I mean things as simple as racking the slide become easier because the gun is properly lubed. We reduce stoppages by allowing the gun to operate as designed. As friction and load increases on the slide mechanism of a gun, I bet you're not upping the power of your ammunition. The answer is no, you're not. So the potential amount of energy that's in, say, a Supervel 9 mil that I carry and train with in this gun doesn't change, but the amount of friction increases as the gun gets dirtier and dirtier through training and usage. So by lubricating it properly, I'm able to take the energy from that round and send it to the slide so that the gun cycles as designed, keeping the gun fed and working. We reduce cleaning time and energy. If the gun is properly lubed and there is lubricant in the areas that it needs, most of the dirt's gonna wipe right off. We increase our training efficacy by not wasting time. If I don't have to go screw around with my gun and sit on my tailgate to try to keep this thing working, I'm spending my time at the range training instead of screwing around with a dirty, broken gun. Lastly, I increase survivability in a fight. We tell our students that you have a few jobs with a gun. Job one, have it with you. Job two, have it loaded. Job three, know how to use it. Job four, keep it fed and working. And job five, put holes where holes are needed and do not put holes where they are not needed. The more variables that I can remove, increase my survivability. Keep the gun lubed and working. Makes sense. Let's drop the old, tired, worn out concepts. Base your thinking on logic, on facts, on science, not on what somebody told you at the gun store. Yes, any lubricant, any lubricant can provide a lube for your gun. You could go into any hardware store in the world and find any kind of oil. And if you put it on a gun, technically it is better than nothing. It doesn't mean it is the best thing. That is why we have a myriad of lubricants, greases, and cleaners for all types of machines. Keep it wet. That is the concept that we need to understand. Comical, when we put these videos up, if you go to the YouTube channel and look through the comments, you see people that get visceral and angry because we are challenging a thought or a notion. If you wish to go buy motor oil to coat your gun, do you. I don't care about your opinion in that sense because science says otherwise. There's a reason when you go to your mechanic or to the dealership to have your car maintained, Transmission fluid goes in a transmission and not in an engine. Gear oil goes in the rear end and not in the engine. Different lubes for different jobs. As such, the reason that I own this company and sell this product is because it's a top quality synthetic lube that stays in place, doesn't cook off, doesn't degrade. So when guns are stored, I know if I go back to them a year later, that oil's gonna still be there and will not have varnished like a mineral-based oil. It's synthetic. I also know that it's not gonna be toxic to have it on my skin, right? I wanna minimize risk. That's why I'm training to protect myself. Closing comments, do a little research. Look at the science behind how you need to lubricate a weapon. I would much rather have a weapon wet than have one on the dry side. I would much rather have it lubed up with a correct lube than any lube. And I would much rather maintain the gun in a fashion that it's going to last longer, run better, to keep me and mine safer. This is Mickey with carrytrainer.com and Gunfighter Oil. Hope you learned something. Keep it wet. It'll keep you alive. Yeah, man. Be good.
don't be dickheads. I said I got me some Synthetic, baby So it's gonna last you longer So go on CarryTrainer.com And order yourself some